Back in episode six of Blackboard Fridays, we talked about a framework and a structure for creating a winning culture. One of the questions I've gotten as a result of that was around the how, specifically some of the behaviours and rituals that I encourage businesses to use. Now rituals in a culture are almost by definition unique and personalised to your business. The idea is that your team, who are unique, have unique rituals that make them feel like they belong. They don't want to go and work for any other business and the right people will be attracted to work for your business because of those unique rituals. But I've been asked for some examples so I'm going to share five examples here today. Now these aren't being shared with a view to you implementing these specifically in your business. I just wanted to take a few of the more interesting or extreme examples of culture rituals that I've seen with my clients and my businesses to help you understand that this is a real opportunity to push those boundaries and have a little bit of fun. Let's go through them. Number one, a hobby horse. This is a sales business uh, and many sales businesses have got a tradition of a bell. You know, when they sign a new deal, they ring the bell, it really energizes the whole team and everybody wants to be the person that gets the chance to ring the bell next. Well, these guys took it to another level. Instead of a bell, they'd got a hobby horse, the sort of thing you might buy for a child. And when you squeeze the ear, it made a sound like a horse. Instead of ringing a bell when they got a sale, the salesperson was responsible for going out the back, grabbing the hobby horse, squeezing that ear, and then riding it around the office until the noises stopped. They loved it. It was absolutely fabulous. And I tell you what, I share that story a lot in the context of culture rituals. Nine times out of 10, people laugh at the story and think that would be way too crazy for them. One time out of 10, they go looking for a hobby horse. Number two, gentlemen's jackets. This is a business I worked with for many years. And one of their traditions was that whenever they had a conference, whenever they got the whole business together, spread out across the country, they would have a formal sit down dinner. And gentlemen would, would wear suits, would wear dinner jackets. And they had a specific rule that the gentlemen could not remove their jackets until the chairman of the board had removed his jacket. And the chairman, over time, they changed, but they all had a whole lot of fun. Every time they kind of got up to grab a drink, they'd slowly start thinking about their jackets, put it back on, knowing that every other man there was keeping an eye on them to see when they could take their jackets off. Uh, a good fun little thing and one that really brought us together. Number three, swearing. Some businesses have very strict policy about not swearing. I had one client that actually built into their culture strategy paper the rule that they were allowed to swear at work. As I say, these aren't recommendations, things that will definitely apply for your business, but it was something that they felt was part of what made them special and they wanted to solidify that. Number four, new date idea. How's this for a little bit of fun? Once a month at their team meeting, this business each person is responsible for one month out of six for coming to that team meeting with an idea for a new date. It's therefore something that they, uh, as individuals, can take their partners on. It's a little bit of fun and it's something that they then share with their clients as well. So it's a great conversation piece and a great way to keep them as a business engaged with their local community. And number five, this is something we do at Business Depot. Friday, bingo. Once a month, we get together on a Friday afternoon have a few drinks, knock off at half past four, and we play a game of bingo. Now you'd think that that might be a little bit old school, a little bit naff, but it's actually an awful lot of fun. And it's a great simple exercise that brings the whole team together in a casual way to have a little bit of fun. It's one of those things that makes us as a business unique, and it's something that our team enjoy. It's something that makes them more engaged with us as a business, and that leads to all of the benefits of a great culture, loyalty, extra contribution and a whole lot more energy and motivation when they come into work. Friday. Blackboard Fridays. That reminds me. Seventy-six. Seven and six. Was my beautiful wife worth it? Every penny. Seventy-six.